Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Fun with Charlene. Today I am I did a um, project, a DIY, do it yourself, um, a kitchen island on wheels. It was so much fun, I got it from Amazon and I just wanted to tell you guys, I am not affiliated with Amazon, but if they want to um, get with me, here I am, I love Amazon. And I'll put the um, product up here so you guys can see it but I just wanted to thank you all who have subscribed in the past week I have gotten over five subscribers which is very good for me and my channel I am so happy that the channel is growing I just want to give a shout out to my new subscribers real Azada I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right boogie time scorpion queen 420 mr. gimme and Brenda T Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and to the people who have subscribed that I cannot um, and I do not know who it is. Thank you. I love you and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much. You are just inspiring me to be better and I do want to be a YouTube influencer. So thank you and keep on coming to my channel and helping me out. So with all of that, we're going to go ahead and get it to a DYI it's quick short and it just kind of shows you what I went through to build this island which I have right behind me here <laughs> I love it and um, you'll see the finished product product as well as some of the um, ins and outs of putting it together it wasn't hard at all um, I did it pretty much by myself I did have a little help on the cabinets uh, putting the cabinets on but other than that, I did it and it was good. I enjoyed it and I was tired as heck doing it. It took me about four hours to put it together um, from start to finish. So with all of that, here we go. Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Here's my little red cart that I'm going to get rid of and make a new rolling kitchen island. And so let's begin. I took everything out of the package and tried to set it up in order of um, the numbers from 1 to I think it was 16 and um, it was a lot of pieces that I had to take out of that box but I got them all out and got them in order so I could get started on this project make sure you have your drill charged and ready to go because I didn't so I had to do a lot of um, manual screwing here where my um, poor arm and wrist are still hurting from it and this uh, is one of the rollers for the drawers and when I first put it on as you guys gonna be able to see it I put it on crooked which happened throughout the whole project um, I would start off good and then when I look at it it's either crooked or on backwards <laughs> And that's how I usually um, build my items. I enjoy putting together items, so that's no problem. It's just I hate the fact that I have to make errors before I can get it done properly. So see, as you guys can see right here, the um, roller part, it is it's, it's crooked. I don't know what I did, how I did that. But as I realized um, it was crooked, I took it off and... Um, <laughs> and proceeded to do it again <laughs> and hoped you guys didn't notice that I had put it on Cricut so um, I did it again but um, this is just me there I go now I'm putting it on the straight way uh, this is how I put together things <laughs> what is it trial and error Putting this together would have gone a lot faster had I had my drill charged up before I started putting this together. It took a little while for me to get that drill charged up, but once I got the drill going, everything went a lot faster. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. All right, here we are, almost um, halfway done. Got it standing up. I put the uh, coasters on the bottom and 
put the shell or the sides together and uh, it's an easy project like I said you just have to know what you're doing I have a few more pieces to put together now for the great part that I enjoy and love the most was putting on this top oops it's a little heavy but um, putting this chop is a chopping block actually it's very very sturdy and you can use it to chop your items on and since I don't have a microwave uh, stand I actually use half of it to um, put my microwave on so it's a microwave kitchen island on wheel stand <laughs> making sure everything is going where it's supposed to go in the pigs and I am very pleased with that voila how do you like that isn't that nice and there you have it almost done sorry I didn't videotape me putting the um, drawers and the cabinet doors on I was just so tired I forgot I was videotaping anything but see the nice pull out drawers I really like those they glide and slide easily and the cabinet doors they have two shelves on the inside they close and open nicely I'm very pleased with my project and there you have it all done isn't that pretty I'll show it to you with my uh, microwave on top 